Hey everyone, hi again from APPC23 and this is an update video to my previous one covering some thoughts on how an unlimited detail technology might work. I start with a small disclaimer right away. I have evidence of thinking that Euclidean's engine does not work the way I exposed you in the last video. I'm sorry for that because at first I thought that it might use a very smart variation of a ray tracing program, but definitely it is not. Putting it very simple, much more likely the unlimited detail engine works by pre-rendering many cube maps or sphere maps from different viewports in space and then interpolating and warping them together in order to match a correct camera perspective. That's some much complicated stuff and I'm, I'm not going to dive into it. So that said, uh, let's get started. In the last video I showed you the angle sorting method that lets me rotate the ray very well, but I could not move it out of the region. That's bad. So we need to restart from scratch. We need a sorting method of data that first let me move the ray and later on we'll care about rotation. Everyone knows that through any given point in space goes an infinite number of lines with any possible slope a line can have. But if we fix a slope value, then just a line with that slope can pass through the point. With this information we can easily calculate the intercept on the vertical axis of the line. If we do that for every point, then we can sort all the data just by the offset on the vertical axis. This means that we can span the data with a line that always keeps the same slope but just changes the offset. I have a working example of that. This is an old demo of mine. The red circlet is my camera position and I can move it around quite well. This up there is the slope of the ray, which is minus 2, because the screen is supposed to be flipped. I also improved the search algorithm, and now it works just perfectly and is much faster than before. Take this sample chain and sort the points to match, for example, this ray. Now, the distribution of the points in this particular case is not even. There is this gap from point A and points B, C and D are very, very compressed together so that the algorithm, when checking the array, will for sure pick C as the solution. But it is not the correct answer. The correct one is B. This is exactly the description of the offset issue I mentioned in the last video. There are two ways to fix it. By making guesses closer and closer to the solution, in an iteration for example, or you just do something like this. For every point in the array, we add another element, among point position and color and all the other properties. This new element is just an index that points to another element of the same array. This index is a link to the correct answer, so that when the algorithm checks the wrong point, it will find in this last element a pointer to the correct answer, which is B. All those links are pre-calculated and how to find them is trivial, you can easily figure it out. Now, how we are planning to rotate the ray? Well, the short answer is I can't. The only thing I could do is to pre-render many of those assorted arrays with different slopes and switch between them uh, while rotating. This uses a gigantic amount of memory and I admit it is very bad. The problem, of course, is the sorting method. I can just sort data matching just one criteria at a time. So I have a question for YouTube. If someone can tell me if uh, there is a way of sorting data uh, in order to match not just one but two or more criteria, so that they could move and rotate the camera without any additional uh, memory consuming precalculations. I don't even think it is possible, because, well, uh, a one-dimensional array can just be sorted once, I guess. Well, you can send me a message or just leave a comment in this video and I'll be glad to read what you think about it. So, while I was talking, I started up today's demo and I'm out of thing to say, so I'll just briefly describe what you can do with this demo. Check it out in the description. 
It comes with three drawing modes. To select one, just type the number and press enter. The basic idea is almost the same as the last demo, but now I can move the rays with W, A's, decays and so. In drawing mode 1, the program randomly generates those shapes at startup and sorts them on the fly using the sorting algorithm. Also the sorting algorithm has been improved. I found one uh, faster on the internet that guarantees uh, much better performance. It comes with some uh, controls and tweaks on the right side of the screen. For example, this uh, field of view control that tells the program to pick uh, basically to pick more points from more sorted arrays. There are 50 of pre-computer sorted arrays in this demo. I can add more of them. It will just use more memory. By the way, in the console are shown uh, some uh, info like memory usage. Always keep an eye on it. This greyish thing is uh, nothing more than a projection of all the point camera distances. And this is very cool because, uh, for example, if you go down, uh, if you go down there, you can see the two walls, and then going down, you can see the floor that becomes brighter and brighter, like this. Okay, this next control tries to pick many sample points from the current uh, sorted array and sends back just the point which is closest to the camera. If this feature is disabled, then the program can pick points at any random distance. It's like uh, the rays can uh, pass through the geometry without uh, carrying uh, of uh, surfaces or closer points. The draw mode uh, enables the, the drawing of red rays and uh, green points. You get better performance if uh, this is disabled, but since I use the timer to limit uh, the number of drawings to be performed, it does not anymore impact much the per performance. Speaking about performance, uh, look at the FPS counter up there, and this is just like the, the full potential this wall algorithm can bring. Let's switch to drawing mode 2. This is very simple. Just draw yourself the points and the program will uh, sort and play them. Drawing mode 3 uh, is uh, very cool because it can load an arbitrary word from a file. The data file contains not only the actual cloud data, but also all the sorted arrays, so that there is no need to sort anything at startup. The program just uh, takes the file and loads it in memory. In total this scenery contains uh, 13,000 points, more or less, I don't really remember the number. Ok, it's enough for this video. Don't forget to read the description and download this demo if you want. I'm not planning on uh, releasing any more videos about this unlimited detail thing, so no 3D demo or anything from me. But anyway, if I casually have any further update, I'll post everything in the description of this video. Okay then, thanks for watching!